Differently abled, differently. Welcome back. Action for Children with Disabilities, in conjunction with Sleek Hub, held an event dubbed the Sleek Spelling Bee to celebrate the Kenyan Sign Language. Take a look. Action for Children with Disabilities, ACD, in conjunction with Sleek Hub, held an event dubbed the Sleek Spelling Bee to celebrate the Kenyan Sign Language on the 23rd of September 2023. When you come to the young children, uh, there is an, uh, another angle into that. We are trying to promote uh, competency in sign language among these young learners. Because the event that we have today, we have a spelling bee in Kenyan Sign Language. So that means also we are equipping these young children with knowledge around uh, vocabulary that they use in day-to-day -day interactions, which once they have good mastery of the vocabulary in sign language, then it, that will translate to better learning outcomes of Kenyan Sign Language as a language for deaf learners. It is relevant, especially when we have such occasions and parents are invited. From there they learn and they appreciate. When they see their children performing, parent is like, oh, you mean, so they can do it. So that uh, such occasions really help our parents and we appreciate. Inclusivity through communication. That's the better way to put it. Um, and one of the communication aspects that we have in the disability world is the sign language. And that's why for us we say that sign language is cool, cool kibokoyao, because we want to wow. Our population is not even for the deaf themselves. Our population is to get the people who are hearing, the population. Uh, there is that which we call reverse inclusion, whereby we, we, we the people uh, that are hearing, want to get into the world of the deaf, or the world of, the, of people with disability. 23rd September was declared as the International Day of Sign Languages by the United Nations General Assembly in order to raise awareness of the importance of sign languages in the full realization of the human rights of people who are deaf. Themed, a world where deaf people everywhere can sign anywhere, the event brought together pre- and lower-class learners, both deaf and hearing, from different schools who participated in the sign language contest. Most people now are embracing sign language quite a bit, and that is our happiness, that is our joy. When people embrace you know, sign language, they might not realize, but they are not only embracing a communication skill they have changed their attitude towards people with disability. So with time, with time as we are introducing sign language to the hearing popu population, we are also slowly you know, encouraging inclusion. Right now we are having CBC. Our teachers have been trained in CBC curriculum and our learners here are enjoying that system of education. I want to thank the KICD and Ministry of Education because we have adapted books for the children with hearing impairment. The Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities recognizes and promotes the use of sign languages, making it clear that sign languages and spoken languages hold the same status quo. The deaf children experience a lot of uh, communication barrier uh, because the community that we, we call the hearing, you and me who can hear, of course we don't know sign language. So that means they cannot speak to us, they cannot interact to us. Likewise, we don't know their language. Uh, it means that if I have to speak to a deaf child, and if I don't have that basic sign language, already there is a barrier. In our schools, uh, uh, we don't have teachers who are proficient. To the world of people who are, who are with disability, or with, um, or with the deaf, for example, the gap closes and the inclusion now starts 
being implemented slowly by slowly. It is very hard for an adult right now, but our hope is that in the future we shall have that kind of community and world. Learning sign language is hugely beneficial as it opens up many opportunities. Not only does it increase their awareness of different people, but also enables children to be more understanding and sensitive and create a more inclusive setting. Sign language should now be um, a subject even for the teachers, all teachers, not just uh, for the special, those who want to teach in special needs, it is all teachers. Because at times like a parent will come to my office, the parent is deaf, I have to call a teacher who has done sign language to come and interpret. But if I knew the language, I would just uh, communicate with the parent. So it is a challenge. Most schools are shy off from, you know, even teaching sign language. We don't blame them. And that is why you will not see such a language in many schools. And would like to encourage many schools, you know, to have such programs. If probably you're not having the the, you know, uh, the, the classes themselves, you can have a club whereby, like we have Sleek Club, whereby we can have Sleek Club come and, uh, you know, initiate and have many children there, you know, and we have programs now like the Spelling Bee where they'll come and interact with others and practice. This is what happens with the language. If you do not practice it, you forget. So we do not want children to forget. We want it to be instilled in them. That is it, this is a skill and it's a language just like they know English and just like they know Kiswahili. The Ministry of Education has been keen to incorporate Kenyan Sign Language into the education system. Uh, that's why we have schools uh, that have sign languages club. These are schools of hearing children. They can hear, but they have interest to learn sign language and uh, they are competing here today with the others who are deaf children learning in deaf schools. So by, by virtue that the Ministry of Education is encouraging teaching of sign languages in schools already, that's a big milestone for us. And we would want really to encourage this to go on so that we have many of us know sign language. I would say parents need to be enlightened because what I've discovered, especially if I take a case of my school, you find that a parent bringing a child who is 14 years to start from grade 2. So it means the parent did not know that there's a school where my child can be taken care of. There is the issue and the challenge of mindset change and the attitude. That's where the problem is. Actually, amongst all, that is the main. So, uh, and that's why, again, sign language is cool. We are introducing it as a cool language, not just like any other, you know, not like a very serious language whereby we'll give you stress learning. We want it to be a very interactive way. As we are doing that, we are also creating awareness in the mind of people, you know, trying to change the attitude here and there introduce the world of the deaf, introduce the world of people with disability to them. And that way, slowly by slowly, we are getting rid of the mindset and certain attitude. Let's take a look at the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Article 25 of the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities states that state parties shall, part B, provide those health services needed by persons with disabilities, specifically because of their disabilities, including early identification and intervention as appropriate and services designed to minimize and prevent further disabilities, including among children and older persons. And here is the tip for the day. When I go for events, I like to listen. 
I don't like going to talk too much and lord it over people. I like to go and listen and understand and interact because I work with the young people and you know the young people don't like being talked to. They first want you to listen and then you help them get a solution. Most times they already have the solution. So they just need you to help them uh, bring it to fruition. We've come to the end of the show for today, but be sure to join us every other Saturday when time and space allows. I've been your host, Jen Theory. Goodbye. Baby.
Mungu haya wazitu angusha Mungu imara kwetu sote neno neno ni ngome la tushikilia tusianguke We are here and we are strong Let's be counted as we move on Make a difference, change lives As we tell our different stories We are capable, beautiful We are born to do great things We're unstoppable Incredible, cause we're differently abled, differently.